Hello and welcome to another Svelte tutorial. This time we're gonna look into how we can export a, an Excel file or a CSV file from our invoice table. Uh, we created this page at the last tutorial, make sure to check it out and I hope you enjoy this video. So we start off by installing new dependencies. First off, Excel.js is uh, our dependency to generate and export our Excel files. And file saver is a small utility package that allows us to open or download the generated blob. Additionally, we're gonna grab the types package for the file saver module. Now we're gonna go ahead into our uh, existing uh, invoice page that we want to add the uh, export to. And in there, I'm just gonna add a button next to the header that just says, Excel is X. Now we can go ahead and add a small utility file in our lib folder called um, Excel export and in the creator index.ts. And first we're gonna need some imports. Next up we're gonna create a small function export Excel and we're gonna pass table, the variable from tan stack table and a file name. You don't need to use 10 stack table, but as we have it on the current page, it makes it a little bit easier. You can instead just uh, use your column definitions and your data um, by yourself. If you don't know what 10 stack table is, it's a really powerful table library and you can check out my last video where we implemented one. Back to our Excel sheet, we create a new file by calling new workbook. We can then add a sheet to the workbook with add worksheet. We can then get our columns with the table.getHeader groups and get the last one. And if we don't find anything, we can log an error and return early. Now we can define the columns of our Excel sheet with the header group.headers.filter. We get only the visible columns from our table and then map over these and return an object with header, key and width. Um, you can play around a little bit with with width, but uh, I just use 20. Now we can generate the actual rows and we can just call get call row model. Then we get dot rows and an array of each row. We get the visible cells and map over these and get their value. And values is basically then an array of each cell's value. And we can just call ws dot add row. At last, we're gonna go to the first row, that's a column row, and we can then go ahead and say that each header should be bold. To download the file, we can go ahead and just call um, workbook.xlsx.write buffer. We get an array buffer from that. We can use that to create a new blob and pass a file name. And the, the buffer is an array, so it's actually then an array buffer before it was just a buffer. And at last we can call our save as function from the, the file saver module we downloaded. Back at our page, we can click the download button and we get this Excel file and it has basically every row with every data. And yeah, we have an Excel export of our table. We currently export every row on the table and don't uh, take into consideration the, the applied filters. So if you want to export only the filtered rows, we can add a new parameter to our function, apply filters. Further down in our code, we can then check if this, this new Boolean is true. We can get not the core row model, but the filtered row model and otherwise the core row model as before. And now we can go ahead to our table and apply some filters. So now we're gonna only see the USA rows and if we download the file again and we can see that we actually only get rows with USA in it, great. And at last, if we want to export a CSV, we can just change the write buffer function and the file name, of course. And then if we gonna recreate our file, we actually get a CSV and I gonna import it into the code editor and you can see 
with a few change of code, we can actually export also a CSV file. Great. So that's it for this video. Thanks for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed it. If you want, you can check out the SvelteKit playlist where I have different SvelteKit tutorials. And I hope you enjoy your day. Bye.